Okay, <clears throat> well let's do this lab. Um, we have seven chemicals here. Okay, and here's the sheet that you can download. <clears throat> um, and what we're going to do is write the chemical name, the chemical formula, and you guys are going to figure out the molecular weight. Okay, or the molar mass. So our first chemical right there is cadmium nitrate. Let's write that down. Okay, and it's a hydrate, so it's forming a CD, okay, parentheses, NO3, 2, dot, 4, H2O. Take a look at it. It looks like, that's why it's having a hard time coming out, because it's a nitrate or it's a, it's a hydrate, it just looks like little little white crystals, you probably can't even see that, it looks like salt. A lot of stuff looks like salt. Okay, for you chemists that uh, notice I just wiped this on a on a rag over here, I'm going to use it in the next chemical, these chemicals are only used for this lab, so they're not uh, getting contaminated, they already are. Okay, next one, cupric nitrate, so remember there's cuprous and there's cupric, this is cupric. Okay, and the chemical format for this guy is CuNO32. Okay, that's why it's cupric, because cupris is just CuNO3. It's the plus one, and this guy is the plus two. And it is a dot. Two and one half H2O. So it's also a hydrate. Okay? This stuff is kind of cool looking, that's why I chose it. I'll hold it up to the camera. It's it's kind of a purple crystal. Um, and uh, that's very common for anything having to do with copper. It has that sort of blue color to it. Okay. So this guy is cupric chloride. So we have another copper compound. Okay, so this is CuCl2. Well, this might have been one of the examples I did in class. And it's a hydrate. Oops, sorry. Uh, cupric. Chloride. Which is CuCl2. Okay. And it's a double hydrate. Okay. So remember, and it's also, let's take a look at it. It's a kind of a, a bluish... I'm not sure what color is an aqua blue color. Okay, and it's all just a crystal. I'm not going to pull it out. Okay, so uh, remember that the molecular weight of water is 18, so you have two 18s. You have one copper at 64, and you have two chlorines at 35. So I almost did that one for you. Okay, let's go on to number four ferrous ammonium sulfate. Kind of a famous chemical. Let's write that down. Ferrous ammonium sulfate. So you have ferrous and ferric. Ferrous is the plus two. Ferric is the plus three. So this is going to be a little hard to write. So it's Fe um, NH42. That's the ammonium. There's two of these because ammonium is a plus one, but ferrous is a plus two. Okay, SO42, sulfate. There's two of those. So what that implies is there's two sulfurs but eight oxygens. And it's dot six H2O. This thing really likes water. Okay, I, I kind of wrote over the line. You guys have room to... You should show your work on each one of these as you add it. Okay? You need to show your work on it. Just don't put a number. Okay, this is also... Uh, it's sort of an aqua green chemical, um, and I remember when I was a little kid and had a chemistry set that was in there, ferrous ammonium sulfate. Okay, so that's used in photography as well as sodium thiosulfate, our last chemical. Okay, so let's go to this one, potassium chromate. I got this one just because it's yellow. So let's see, 
Are we here? Okay, so that's chemical number five, potassium chromate, and it is K2CRO4. Chromate, or uh, um, I wrote I wrote the chromate wrong. It's a lowercase r. Sorry, chromium is little r there. Okay, chromate CRO4 ion is a negative two, and potassium is a plus one. That's why there's two of them. Okay. So you got two potassiums, one chromium, four oxygens. I'll let you figure it out right there. Okay. And it's yellow. Kind of cool looking. That's why I chose it. Look at that. You can see it's see how it shakes around in there, it's powdery. It's not a hydrate, so there's not water glomming it all together, holding it stuck. Okay. Our next one is benzoic acid. Now that sounds a little bit different than, than the name, so benzoic. acid. Now, we haven't really learned uh, what benzene is yet, the benzene ring, but we have learned about carboxylic acids. And notice the chemical formula for this guy. This guy is C6H5COOH. I'll take a moment and draw the formula on the back of that when we're done with this uh, exercise. So this is just, notice it's not, it's not a hydrate, and it's just little white crystals, kind of little rocks. Okay, um, and it's kind of cool. Like all the hydrate, non-hydrates shake around pretty well. You can hear them, but the hydrates kind of shake as a big rock. They're all stuck together. Okay. Lastly, number seven, sodium thiosulfate. Used in the photographic industry, this is another material called fixer. It lets the film image stay on the photographic paper. E -H -O -T -E, sodium thiosulfate and the chemical formula for sodium thiosulfate is right here Na2S2 and A2S2O3 a little out of space dot 5H2O also hydrate Okay, so that kind of concludes all the chemicals. Let's take a moment here. Let me draw benzoic acid for you in the back. Okay, so this formula is uh, C6H5COOH. Now the COOH ion, okay, the acid ion looks like this. Double bonded O, OH, and when it's not attached to anything, it's a negative one. C6 looks like this, which is interesting. Looks like a stop sign. Each corner has a carbon, okay, like that. Each, and it has a double bond on every other one. This is called the benzene ring, and it has five hydrogens. Benzene usually has six hydrogens, but what happened is one of the hydrogens got popped off to put on the acetic acid molecule. So there's benzoic acid. That's what that looks like. Goes in a circle. Okay. Um, so another. Uh, sometimes people draw it this way as well. Just like that. Which I don't like that because well, you could draw it like that if you know. But every other one's a double bond. Okay. And so that's why it's called benzene E and E double bond. Okay. All right. So I'll scan this and post this data. Okay. If you can't read that. Okay. We'll just take a quick look. There's our chemicals. We had cadmium nitrate, cupric nitrate, cupric chloride, ferrous ammonium sulfate, potassium chromate, benzoic acid, sodium thiosulfate, and there's the formulas. We will scan this and post it to go along with it. And you show your work and figure out the molecular weight. Look up all the molecular weights on the periodic table. Like if you've never found uh, iron, or let's see, who's a weirdo? Cadmium. Now's your chance to look through all 118. <laughs> chemicals and find it, get familiar with the periodic table. And that's this lab. I'll leave the rest.